Hey, how you doing? It's Colin Daniel here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Um, hope that my freebie lessons on YouTube are helping you. Um, it's a taste of what I like to do. And uh, this is a, a, a look at Dust My Broom, uh, which was originally written by Elmore James. Um, I'm, I've taken my version more from the ZZ Top uh, rendition of that, which uh, came off of the DeGuello album that had cheap sunglasses on it, that a nationwide. And on it was uh, a version of uh, Dust My Broom. I'm using a D open tuning. If you don't know what that is, you're going to have to look into that a little more. It's D, A, D, F sharp. Because D and A are 1 and 5. You know, so that's D, that's A, that's D. That's your major third, your F sharp. So when you're tuning it from a um, standard tuning, right, the E's drop the tone. The A stays the same, the E stays the same. The F sharp, well, that's created by dropping it a semitone. The B is dropped to an A to make it a fifth, and the E is dropped to a D, a whole step, to make it the full D major chord. And it's basically what I call a boogie woogie type shuffle thing. It's two strings. You see, if you don't, if you if you if you didn't have this tune the way you, way it is, because the D and the A are a fifth, right, right now, normally it's E and A, and if you wanted to play that, you'd have to add the extra finger, but right now, because of the way it's tuned, you know, like if you played it here, at the D, you'd have to add the major sixth with your pinky, because this has got the one and five and the six. Well, this is already one and five, and this is six, so there's your shuffle, your boogie pattern, that's the D, going to get up in the morning, leave all dust in my broom, and it's a 12 bar with a slight, just a very, very slight twist to it, it's not a totally standard 12 bar, but it almost is. N normally in 12 bar you do uh, four bars of the starting chord, the one chord, and then you go to the next change, which is the four change, and you usually do two bars of that, then you go back to the one change for two bars, then the five change, then the four change, and back to the one. In this case it's D, G, and A. You could just play D, G, and A chords, but I've got this tune so I can play the slide with it, and uh, I'm playing, I'm playing the uh, shuffle part with just fingering it, and that's with the open D and A that gives me my fifth, and then it's one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three. So there's a D. You know, so it'll get up in the morning. I believe I'll dust my broom. You notice how when I'm playing here, the, the uh, this is a G, right? No, normally this is a G, but because we've tuned our D string or our E string down to a D, now we have to make up for it. So that I'm just barring across these first two strings. That gives me my fifth, right? The sixth and fifth string. And then I add with the, with my third finger the, the major six, right? So, so it's one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three. So that's D. D. Back to D for two bars. G for two bars. Back to the back to the D, right? Now all the way up to the five, the A. And then from there, well, you have a choice. In the uh, CZ Top version, um, um, you could go. I'll take the slide off for a minute. You could see so you could play this without the slide, right? You could go. There's your D, you know, with the G. There's your G. Back to the D. Like me, you can do it here by using the uh, two open strings. 
and then playing third fret, third string, and picking through the. That would be the D, right? So. I usually use the slide there. So it'd be like, gonna get up in the mall. I believe I'm just like Gonna get up in the morning. I believe I'll just mind me. There's your five. Instead of going like. Which you can do too. Uh, it's just the closing riff. Basically based on G or a D, G, and A. Here's my D. Here's my G. And here's my A. And your closing riff is always um, uh, the four to the five chromatic passing out. So they do a rundown. I like to play it here with my open tune. And then I play the uh, fourth and third string together, and that becomes uh, G, G sharp, and A, just like I could go G sharp and A there, too, if you like. Um, there's a lot more to this song than this. Uh, pretty hard to cover it all, but I think I've given you a pretty good overview of it. Um, have fun with it. Uh, it can be played in standard tuning, but uh, the ZZ Top version I know was done with uh, the D major open tuning, and I'm not sure what the Elmore James version was. I don't have a copy of that, but uh, um, I, I got hooked on it when I heard ZZ Top play it. So, um, uh, uh, Kudos for uh, um, Billy Gibbons and ZZ Top, and uh, check out the DeGuello album. It's awesome. Check out I'm Bad I'm Nationwide. It's another cool guitar tune, too. All right. Uh, good luck. Happy guitar playing, and... Uh, May you riff till you drop. Uh, Colin Daniel from RiffNinja.com, signing out.